uh going from uh sad united discussion to actually some some silver lining in united season is the young boys which have come in um nehal describe your feeling towards kobe manu bro and you've been repping this boy since since a long time i mean dude, like grow, growing up like your favorite midfielders are uh you know zavi you know iniesta like you know paul scholes was good but like he was never like you, you know they had that aura sort of thing and okay. i've never seen i've never thought like united could develop a player with those kind of attributes mm-hmm. like who is very silky who plays with his head up and not head down like you know he always knows uh he's he's very confident about his like ball at his feet like he doesn't get scared press resistant these are the things that we've never seen like from an england yeah. midfielder and an english player and it's 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 nice bro like it's it's a very like uh, good thing that we don't have to invest heavily in like bringing those kind of players like you know we know for a fact that like he is going to develop because the rate at which and nirav we saw him live bro in the stadium he was fucking world class that day even though he was friendly he was mm. actually really really yeah. good he got our eye like he was just yeah. and he got injured like, too <laughs> and then he got injured next game but yeah. like you know we walked out of that game thinking that fuck that that kid is good right so like it's i and for an 18 year old to come in and like play that way and keep growing and uh, play three liverpool f- fixtures and come out of all three of them like with something in each of them is fucking is fucking amazing and i i wish he stays injury free and like continues his progress i know i'm touching all wood so that i don't jinx this <laughs> sid has more like elated feelings so go ahead sid and we'll ask him just... if he's hyper like just n- nothing but later <laughs> you can see the smile on my face this this doesn't happen when like in the last few years watching united and kobe main oh my god what a guy and just just think about it right like the last few weeks for him uh that winner against wolves he's sort of like grown in popularity and like exponentially he played in that game against liverpool in the fa cup uh, he got called for england he came on from the bench and won he started the next game like rising through the ranks like at an insane pace and through all of this like a lot of players tend to lose their heads and like the, the this level of meteoric rise sort of gets to them and it can impact their progress it can impact how they approach a game in 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 their own heads and i don't see that happening with menu which is why i'm even more excited because yes all the attributes like he's so smooth on the ball he's like so good to like just watch as a fan and just like his attitude i think is his biggest strength so i just hope he continues like this in the next season and yeah like hopefully we won't have another pop gas pop gas pop gas situation where we sort of uh, you know pop like that. yeah like buy him back for 100 million and then he just becomes trash after that so no he doesn't yeah. seem like a pop pa guy yeah. anyway uh, yeah exactly he seems like from the same mold as you know like the nice boys yeah nice FC. the nice boys at city right yeah <laughs> yeah the nice boys at city We also noticed this thing with the documentary that city have all nice boys, bro. Like all of them are nice. Like you know, family men, just nice people. Pep is like God in all the things. And like this Kyle Walker, and, <laughs> and, and then this Bernardo Silva, <laughs> and then this Grealish. Very nice guy. He he beats Liverpool, but then who doesn't? Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, Kobe Manu, dude. Like what a goal! Like to score at Old Trafford against your rivals. Turn around. what a shot unexpected out of nowhere we have a crazy reaction for that too all three of us apna how did you feel at that moment what do you feel generally about this player i think that goal i was that i was imagining the worst possible i mean i was i had kind of given up on title at that point i'm like if we lose i mean it's not about losing one more point because at that time we were drawing but if we lose to united at this stage of the fixture list i thought that's going to kind of suck all the air out of us but hopefully we drew but the larger point being kobe mainu i think if i remember correctly the imp- he's having the kind of impact which rashford has had in his first season i remember that match rashford had against arsenal i believe mm, 2016 yeah. 2017 season uh, van gaal was the yeah. coach he was brought in two goals or something right in front of something i remember that match very vividly 
Yeah, that remember that match very vividly. One week party hope was reunited. That season they took the time that away from us. That has been our MO like the last ten years, bro. That's yeah. all we do. Eleven. <laughs> so you know, I think that that match was when I think we were playing the Carabao Cup final against City or something. Klopp's first season, whatever. So I was watching that match earlier, waiting for Liverpool match. Rashford, dude, I think came out of nowhere wearing that thirty nine jersey, whatever, and it was like amazing. The impact he had on that season, it's it's too good. And I think I, I haven't heard of of Kamenu till I think he scored that winner, the three four winner or something this season against I don't know who. Wolves, um, Wolves like last minute yeah. winner. Till that point, I had no idea who this guy was. I mean, I, I, I've seen him in the team sheet against Liverpool at Anfield, I guess. But I'm like, okay, yeah, probably one youngster, right? And from that point on, I started noticing such a talent. And even today, I mean, you forget about the goal, right? I think there were a couple of tackles where he was kind of stopping the attacks and starting the stopping Liverpool attacks, starting them. He was all over the pitch. The best part is for a guy that age, what youngsters usually do is they hide. they try to kind of be behind the players more experienced mm-hmm. players like casemiro or who or bruno whoever and then they hide and they play the safe pass he doesn't do that he takes it on he gives it and i think that's where i mean begrudgingly i have to accept i mean i mean he's amazing right i mean rashford was amazing when he when he broke in i think he has similar traits and hopefully he doesn't do too well going forward but <laughs> i'm happy for him <laughs> yeah. yeah um Going from Kobe Manu, even uh, your boy Kamba Wala had a good game. It was good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. For like for. I remember uh, him one tackle that he did on Nunez, like yeah. coming from behind, recovering the ball. That was like a good instance to probably yeah. show so, what kind of quality. So, hundred percent ground duels one, hundred percent tackles one. Twenty nine passes completed, three clearances, and two interceptions. For his, I think this is his first professional game, or uh, has he played before? Not. First start, yeah. Mm. For his first start against Liverpool, that's a that's a pretty big thing. Do you think he has uh, similar traits to Kobe? Do you think he can come up the same way? It's um, I think it's too early because we've seen him in a game where like we faced wave after wave after attacks and there were a lot of defensive actions. Mm. And I think modern day Premier League centre back, you need to be good at your feet too, mm-hmm. right? We haven't seen much of that, but. For everything that you mentioned, I think it's commendable that like you start your first game at Liverpool and come out of it not being like on the wrong side, which I think is fucking awesome. And I just hope that he's fucking six five, bro. He's built. He's mm-hmm. a strong French kid, like eighteen, nineteen year old. So like I, I think it's it's good. It's let's see. Uh, right now we because both of our other cent all of our all of our other centre back options are injured. Not just both. I think we have four four centre backs on the sidelines. Yeah. So uh, he will close out the season, and I think it's interesting time because I actually for there there's been one bright spot this season for me personally. I don't know if people have noticed, but that is Maguire. I just love his like re- recovery arc because dude, that that poor guy has been through hell and back, bro. Last season, like yeah. he was. Everything. If I was, him, I would have been in, like a therapy office forever. <laughs> like it was just rough and. Um, I'm I'm glad that like he'll get his chance to like close out the season, and Kamwal also will will see. Dude, next game is again. Being a United fan is like watching a crime series documentary, bro. We have Bournemouth coming up. See what happens there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, true. But uh, in a season where so much shit has gone through and like so much uh, bad has happened, you're at least coming out of like a good core of like young yeah. players with uh, Garnacho. uh hoyland you know i like dalo uh, too kamwala and who else i like dalo dalo is 23 good. Yeah. yeah pretty good and uh, yeah. i think credit where it's due one thing i like about ten hag is just like that fact that uh, abinov mentioned like where he let he doesn't actually doesn't care like if they're good enough then he'll actually encourage them to show up mm-hmm. and even garnacho right like their amount of risks he takes i think mm-hmm. the coaching like i think eric ten hag is encouraging to them to take risks because he identifies something in them uh, it's just sad that none of these players were bought in by him they were just like academy <laughs> daddy was also good then like you know we would have had a separate discussion but let's not uh, get there but it's it's a bright spark bro core is good i feel like if we have a good manager we will move from party pooping fc to partying fc so mm. <laughs> <laughs> The partying FC finally in a title race, but yeah, uh, um, 
Uh, yeah, even I agree. Like with a good manager, maybe things can 